Hey homeowners, this is Bianca with another episode from your favorite channel, MF Home TV. Picking the right bed might seem like a simple task, but there are actually quite a number of factors to consider. In today's episode, we will be categorizing our sleepers into seven kinds. Children, students, guests, adults, the elderly, couples, and families. Find out which bed is the right size for you. Children. Children are small humans. Hmm, duh. If you put them in a large bed, they're not going to use the whole space. Children also need the feeling of being safe and protected to feel comfortable. But with a very large bed with too much dead space, they'll get the feeling of being unsecured and lonely. The right bed will be a bunk bed if you have two or more children so they can share a room. The smaller one could be on the top while the older one below. You could also use a single size bed if you think they can already sleep alone in a room. Let them build independence. For students, teenagers in high school, and young adults in college, unfortunately, if they're living in a dorm or a boarding house or apartment, sometimes there's just little to no space for furniture other than a bed and a closet. The best size for a bed to maximize the whole room is to get a single sized bed. But if they're on the heavier side, a semi double will do. I also suggest if they have their own room in their parents' house, a single to semi double bed will work as great too, so they can use a whole lot more area for hobbies. Maybe they want to play the guitar, or do art, or even exercise. Freeing space up for passion is really good without compromising a good sleep. For your guest rooms, if you want it to be budget friendly, a double bed is suggested. Double beds are perfect for one adult sleeper, but at the same time, it can also be enough for two adults if your guests come in too. Even if there is little space left for movement, a double bed can still make it work since guests usually leave in three days max. Double beds can also hold two children, leaving enough room for movement since when they're young, they tend to sleep erratically. Remember, a double bed is equal to one adult and one adult equals to two children up to 10 years old. For elderly people, two considerations. Our bodies change when we grow older and so does our mattress requirement. First, the bed should be easy to get in and get off, so a bed that is not too low and not too high should do the trick. Second, the bed should be firm. When we say firm, it does not mean it's hard. A firm bed is a bed that does not sink too much because of weight. When the bed will sink and recovery time is slow, our lolas and lolos will have a hard time moving. The right mattress should have easy repositioning. A double-sized bed is also enough for the elderly. The thing with older people is that it takes too much effort for their bodies to move once they lie down. A queen-sized bed can be too much space and requires a lot of effort when they want to get off the bed. For couples, a queen-size bed is perfect. But if the two lovebirds want more room, once they don't want to cuddle anymore, a king size is also suggested. Here's a rule too. If you're mattress hunting, it should be done together. Both of you are sleeping in the mattress, so you should both know what the mattress feels like together, since it differs when only one person is checking on it. Test it out and see if one person moves out of the bed. Will there be no movement in your side, so your sleep won't be disturbed if ever they leave the bed in the middle of the night to drink water or pee? By checking together, you can also check if weight is distributed evenly. Most of the items, one person is heavier than the other so it's important to check if nobody sinks or floats because that is very uncomfortable. For children who sleep with their parents or if you have an infant, the king size is recommended. The king size is the biggest size in all the standard bed sizes. It has a lot of space for movement. You can also get the California king bed if you have tall jeans like me. And that's all for this episode. Remember, your bed can affect your health, so choosing the right one is very, very important. 
For me, the best mattress out there is the Flex Foam. This is what I have in my bed. It's not too soft, it's not too firm, and it's made for all types of sleepers. Mandawe Foam can also customize your mattress size and some of their bed frame designs. All you have to do is go to the custom order counter in the showroom with your dimensions to get a quotation. Once again, this is Bianca for MF Home TV, inspiring your home. Hope you learned a lot. Congratulations to last week's winner! Here's this week's prize!